Well, hello there, folks, and welcome to the BRO Reloading Bench. I am your host, Wade Rush. I know this looks a little funny. I'm not actually at the bench, but um, I've heard from a lot of folks. Several folks have suggested that I just start at the bottom or with me start at number four buck and work my way up on all the possible or different configurations that you can put together with each pellet size. Now that can be a right daunting task the way I work. So we're going to try something a little bit different. Views are going to be a little bit different. Hopefully they're going to be a lot better and a lot clearer where you can see and understand what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you 10, that's right, 10 different configurations of number four buck and two and three quarter inch today. That's going to be enough for us to get through. Let's get started. Okay, to start with, we're going to need to talk a little bit about the actual pellets themselves that we're using to put in these rounds. And we're going to start with something that really isn't number four buck. It's actually Remington field grade number three buck. And what we're going to look at here is what the size of this thing is. Actually, the average size on the field grade Remington number three buck is around 24 caliber or just under 24 caliber, which is actually a number four buck size. So the number three buck, I've weighed it out, uh, actually pellet for pellet with the uh, other number, different number four buck, and it's almost identically the same. So you could actually use the number three Remington as a number four buck. I did not, in this case, in these 10 rounds that I have put together here, I have not did not use the Remington, is what I'm saying. But you could, if you had it, and a lot of folks picked this up a year or two ago when Precision was getting rid of these things uh, like crazy and a lot of guys picked up the number three buck so you can actually use it in a number four buck size and next is the uh, number four Hornady Midway had a bunch of this stuff on sale back in the winter they uh, on clearance they were uh, getting they were getting rid of double alt triple alt and number four buck uh, at really really good prices I picked up several boxes myself but here we're going to look at the measurement of the uh, of the Hornady number four buck. It says that it's 240 caliber, and actually the the ones I checked were right on it. They were 24 caliber, uh, and so they we've got a few rounds here that actually contain the number four Hornady buckshot, and uh, but we see that they measure out pretty much right on the money. And next we have my powder coated hard cast that came out of uh, Marty's Arms molds, and. Uh, yeah, I just I polished these up and powder coated them in a mill serp gray so that it's easy for me to identify them as well. But they come out average uh, over a little over 24 caliber, 24 and a half, 24, 4, 24, 5. They're actually closer to number three buck size than the actual Remington number three buck is. And we load several rounds with the uh, with my own powder coated hard cast number four buck. And lastly, what we use to put these together is the Ballistic Products BAM, B-A-M, Ballistic Antimony Magnum, because this is some super hard stuff. It contains up to 5 to 6% antimony in, the, uh, in, in these pellets, so they are super hard. And uh, we'll take a closer look at them here. They're not exactly perfectly round, but they measure out to a little bit over, to about 24, uh, to over 24 and a half. So they would actually be closer closer to a number three buck size than the actual number three buck Remington is. So, uh, but that is a great buck shot. We we have patterned a lot with it, and it works really really well, especially in your full length wads. All right, let's get how we actually put them together. All right, the first round that uh, that I put together here is a conventional type, very conventional as it goes give you a close-up look at it here and uh, we have 27 pellets in here stacked by sevens conventionally and we have a new primed Fiocchi two and three quarter inch here 27 grains of long shot a ballistic products x12x seal and an FC 12 fiber cushion wide and we start out stacking seven pellets 
in the at the beginning of our shot column here and then we stack three rows of seven to give us 21 and then we stack the last row we only stack six and we do not drop one in the middle because if you drop one in the middle your overshot card or your crimp is going to be dumpled up in the middle because it would stick up too high that's why even in your conventional loads your factory loads are loaded identically the same way is to keep the crimp from popping up on you that's why they only put six on the last row but this is what it looks like right here using these conventional components the second one is uh, almost identically the same except we got a little bit different components in here and we loaded this one up uh, especially for hunting because we added original buffer to this round also and conventionally crimped it because what we got here is we've got blue dot blue dot works better for me when it is compressed we have a BP gas seal over 32 grains of blue dot powder an FX 12 waxed fiber wide it works equally well and in this one we did the configuration exactly the same except we've got 27 of your number four BAM the real hard stuff in here original buffer with a standard type crimp alrighty we're gonna get into using a couple of brush wads here y'all stand by okay and if you've got some brush wads they're my favorites um, here we got have another conventional load because you know guys I'm all about simplicity as much as possible and ballistic products has got their green brush uh, brush wide I'm gonna, gonna put the number right here it is identical to the white brush wide they're the dang same thing okay and uh, and what we've got here is we've got 27 of uh, long shot the brush wide one component and then of course our 27 pellets stacked in here conventionally and I roll crimp these bingo overshot card you see that that pellet mi missing in the middle right there that's what we're talking about that way you don't have any problems if, you, if that pellet would be sticking up further than the other six around the perimeter and it would pop your overshot card and these two are the identical same load just showing that the white brush wide is exactly the same these are my hard cast 23 caliber that's right hard cast 23 caliber got Marty to make me a 23 caliber mold 27 a long shot nope I'm sorry let's look yep lighter load 28 and a half a long shot brush wide 27 conventionally stacked number four 23 caliber out of Marty's arms mold because uh, that's a lot of your factory number four buck is actually 23 caliber that's right and we've got a roll crimp with a paper overshot card old school right there all right here's a here's a good one guys I don't really do this a whole lot I did get some excellent performance whenever I first started um, using or testing the steel powder the Alliance steel it was a great performer but we had we had several misfires in the uh, in dealing with this steel powder. Once giants lived in the earth, Conan, and in the darkness of chaos, they fooled Crom, and they took from him the enigma of steel. Crom was angered, and he was shook. You know the enigma of steel. There was a time, boy, when I searched for steel. And steel meant more to me than gold or jewels. The riddle of steel. Yes. You know what it is, don't you, boy? Anyway, the um, this round has got 35 grains of steel powder under an FS-12 flex seal. Because, see, the steel powder, look at the volume that the steel takes up in the case, especially as compared to the long shot. 
steel takes up a lot of volume in your round so that's why you've got to adjust on your especially on your wad here and the flex seal is perfect for this load we've got 35 grains of steel powder flex seal 27 Hornady number four stacked conventionally with a paper 12 gauge overshot card to give us a real pretty crimp you need to have this steel powder compressed if you don't compress it well it will it will not go off like it's supposed to it will misfire it needs to be compressed brownie break miss joanne comes by and says you want to split a cosmic brownie with me i'm like are you kidding me Okay, back to what we were doing. Alrighty, folks, let's get into some full-length wads. Now, we're going to be using a different pellet count here whenever we start getting into these full-length wads because that's going to change the shot column configuration because different wads are different diameters, different lengths, all this other stuff. All right, here we go. One of my favorites is, uh, is using the Gwalandi wads, be that the, the little green super short, or the um, MG42. They're sister wads. But uh, we've got 26 of Pro Reach. You guys that have the Pro Reach powder, this is a good performer right here. And yes, you can add buffer to them to make them um, hunting rounds. Well, they can work well as hunting rounds, just as they are here. And, uh, but what we have here is we got 26 of Pro Reach. We've got the Gualandi Super Mini, or the Super Short, depending on where you get it from. And we've got 25 pellets of the Hornady number four, because we're stacking these in here by fours. So we start out stacking by fours, and we stack by fours by five rows. And when we get to the top of the wad with our five uh, rows of number four buck we're going to drop one right in the middle it was one we stack one in the middle and four around the perimeter and that gives us 25 pellets of number four buck and that pro reach does a really really good job and with the mg42 wide it's longer it's longer and it's got uh, the MG42 is unique as it's got a pretty stout set of hinges in the bottom of it. And whenever you start out stacking, you're going to stack four number four pellets just like this. This is how they're going to look whenever you first start the first row in the bottom. Two will go in the channels on either side of the hinges and two will actually go right in the middle of the hinges. And then you stack up five rows of four. And then, just like the other one, we're going to drop one right in the center of the, uh, of the last row stacked by four. And then we're going to stack five around the perimeter for a total of 26 pellets. And these have my powder-coated hard cast out of Marty's Arms mold here in this one. 26 pellets and an MG42 wide. And this is just a new primed Shadite hole from Ballistic Products. Beautiful, conventional crimp. And fellas, you know the CSD wad has rapidly become one of my favorite. A, because it's uh, because it's uh, available, and B, because it's an outstanding performer. Here we've got, once again, we got a brand new primed Shadite hole from Ballistic Products. And we have 27 a long shot, and we have our CSD wad that we have custom cut, two and three quarter inch. This one's only split. This is only uh, a two splitter here. We only cut it. We don't have four pedals. We only got two big pedals on this, like the MG42. Actually, it's what we made this kind of like a copy of the MG42. We have a, uh, we put a quarter inch 20 gauge hard uh, card or paper wad in the base of this wad here. We stack five rows of five. That's right, the CSD is big enough to handle five 
number four buck per row. And it's simple. This one is so straight and it's flat on the bottom, so this makes it really easy to deal with. We covered this one all with Ballistic Products Original Buffer, and it has a 20 gauge overshot card, a, an eighth inch 20 gauge card, overshot card, right fits perfectly down in the CSD wide over the top to keep our buffer and everything in place so that we get a beautiful standard crimp. Yes, you can roll crimp this one if you like, fellas. This is a great one right here. Hopefully we can get down to the range and shoot these for you here at a later date. And a lot of times components are extremely hard to find and over at Precision Reloading, they've got a couple of outstanding wads that I love to, uh, to use here, folks. And uh, what I have here are the TUPRW-12 and the TUPRW-123, the red. The white wad is two and three quarter inch. The red wad is three inch. And these wads from Precision are tough as cobs. They work really, really well. The white one, the white wad, the, uh, I just shortened it to RW12 and RW123. The white wad is for two and three quarter inch and the red wad is for three inch. Although I use the white wad in everything, especially if we're using bigger flake powder like steel or like 800X or like um, Blue Dot or something like that. You're better off using the, um, the white wad, the two and three quarter inch RW12 instead of the RW123. Uh, it just, that's just the way it works for me. But here we've got the, the TUPRW12, 12 gauge, um, two and three quarter inch wide here. 27 grains of long shot. And we have uh, an over powder card in this round because that long shot powder will leach up by these uh, precision wads. Boy, these, these things are tough. They got a really tough, stout seal, gas seal on the base of these wads, and this small flake powder will leach by it. See, we don't have anything leaching by it now because we installed an over powder card. Used a 12 gauge overshot card as an over powder card, and it worked great. And we have, we have 25 pellets of number four stacked in here. They stack by fours all the way up to the last row. I said, you, you've heard me uh, talk about this with all the other ones. You drop one in the middle and then put four more around the perimeter for a total of 25 pellets in this round. Great performer. And of course, last but definitely not least is the old traditional type with the old double AA12R red or the CB1138-12. One of my favorites. And uh, once again, we've got a brand new primed Shaddite from uh, Ballistic Products. Two and three quarter inch. All these are two and three quarter inch. We installed an over powder card because we have, uh, we have 28 and a half of long shot in this round. And we stack our pellets in here by fives and when we get to the uh, the fourth row we drop a pellet in the middle and we put five around the perimeter for a total of 26 pellets and we cover in ballistic products original all these we put the uh, the uh, buffer in here especially because these are rounds for taking taking hogs taking big game and stuff like that. That's what we would be using these for. And they have some pop. But that is as simple as it is. Well, folks, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you stayed here with me this long, I really appreciate it. Hope you learned something here. We're trying a little bit different format here to see if it, it really helps a lot of beginners out to better understand what we're doing here with this kind of stuff great home defense stuff outstanding hunting rounds as well whether we're talking big game varmints whatever that you need this for it will work great i don't know if you guys have noticed over my shoulder here look at there we are right on the verge of having some merch guys 
That is correct. It has taken us a couple of years to get this together. We went through a couple of different organizations that just did not work out. We did not like the quality of the merchandise they were offering. And then we came across Farmed Focused. And these guys are top shelf. And they have top quality stuff. And as you see, we have already been going through a lot of things, getting all the, the uh, details ironed out. And we are right here at having some outstanding high quality merch available for you guys. I will talk more about that in an upcoming video. And when we have the links to the store, of course, we will put that in all of the videos. I'm Wade Rush. I host the Bubble Roundtree Outdoors channel. And we'll see y'all on the next one.